My grandfather was forgetting how to swallow his food. They had a puree in it. I mean, who wants to eat that? He has to be on oxygen. With this disease, you are literally watching a person change and disappear before your eyes. And all you can do is watch. You can't do anything. It is the most horrible feeling in the whole world because you feel helpless. You feel like you want to do something, but you can't. And all they're doing is suffering. My family lost a volunteer firefighter, a plow worker, a lilac lover, a fisherman, a golfer, a baseball catcher, a friend, a dad, a husband, and a grandpa. I know this is kind of um, a hard test because it's different with every audience members, but if you know someone or know someone who has someone with dementia, can you raise your hand for me, please? Okay, raise your hand and keep them up if you think it's scary and horrible. Look around. All these people are dealing with it just like the person that has it. It's horrible. And doesn't it make you want to do something? Raise your hand if you want to do something so you can change it. So people don't have to go through that. So you don't have to go through that. Dementia is becoming more common for the elderly. 5% of people get dementia between ages 71 to 79. 24% get dementia between the years 80 to 89. 37% of people get dementia in the years 90 and above. I don't know about you, but I think this calls for a change. We need more research going to dementia so people don't have to have this, so we can get a cure, so people don't get it. There needs to be more activities for people with dementia at nursing homes. Activities that stimulate their minds, such as word games, talking about past and present events, topics of interest, puzzles, and music. If we can have more activities for them, then maybe that can bring back bits of their memory or remind them of something from their childhood or something about their family. Anything, anything is better than nothing. I believe that there should be support centers for families with loved ones stricken with dementia, where they can learn different ways to help them, a place where they can get their minds off the challenges of having a loved one with dementia, where there will always be someone to talk to. It would be run by volunteers, anyone who is willing to make a difference. Let's make a difference in the lives of people with dementia and their families. If not today, when? Make it today. Um, my grandfather actually passed away from complications of dementia on December 3rd of this year. Um, and it was horrible. <laughs> he wouldn't have wanted to live the way he lived. He had dementia since he was 50-ish. And each time we saw him, people who saw him outside of the house, they didn't realize that he was changing until it started getting really bad. And the people who knew him and talked to him knew that he was different. And he just kept on getting worse. And we had to put him into the very difficult decision to put him in a nursing home five years ago and um, my grandmother got the call early in the morning that day that he was having complications with his dementia. It was actually because he couldn't figure out how he forgotten how to eat and pieces of food because he'd choke on his food all the time would get caught in his lungs and it eventually gave him his, I believe, fourth case and final case of pneumonia, and he 
passed away that afternoon. So this is for him, so that people don't have to go through what he did. <laughs>